Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. And let's get right into it. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> what I'm getting for you, Cancer, just by shuffling, is that you're in a relationship, but it's not going the way you wanted it to. Um, you're trying to make it work, though. Let's see what's going on here. Earn success. Star. Ten of Pentacles. Uh oh. Trouble in Paradise. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's a healing taking place. Somebody said something really, you know, you're at the Ten of Pentacles in the distant past, which means you've made your money, you're successful. With that earned success on the bottom, you are definitely successful at whatever you are doing right now. This is a family legacy being created. But in the most recent past, we had somebody say something that really hurt. The cut the five of swords. This changed something. Something in you and something in them. Yeah. So it's healing right now. And you're being fair to everybody involved. Especially financially. What's crossing you is a wish. An Aquarius possibly. This is hope, having hope. The immediate future, we have a page of cups here. Could be somebody younger than you, or it is you. It could be a child. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I feel like it could be a child. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I need a drink, man. That's what it happens when spring goes to winter in a day and then it goes back to spring in another two days. Having a hard time with my sinuses here, guys. Um, I feel like this person is coming in to, to offer you their cup. Even if it's just a little apology or something like that, that they're going to come in and they're going to Offer it to you. Factors affecting the situation. You're definitely hurt. By whatever this person did, you're definitely hurt. Nine of Wands is the outside influence. The wounded warrior. Hanging on to that last wand. But wanting to let go at the same time. This is somebody who's hurt. Somebody who's very hurt. Hope is what's crossing you, so. Four of Pentacles as the hopes and fears. Worrying about your money. Cancer, you don't have to worry about your money. You're very successful. You're weighing out the scales, though, in the situation that you're in. Maybe you'll have to share it. And you're not so willing to do that. Um, final outcome is the sun. With strength and spiritual advice, you could be dealing with a Leo. So... The final outcome here is getting everything that you ever wanted from a person or a situation. It's the best card in the deck, period. Spirit's advice is to set yourself free. Have strength to endure this. Because even though you might be feeling like your hands are tied right now, 
the future is about to change. Sorry, man. Spirit, what is this Five of Swords all about in the most recent past? Wow. Somebody's scared to be single. Somebody's scared of you being single. They don't want you to be single. Lots of swords here, guys. For the most recent past. And the factors affecting the whole situation. Lots of swords. Somebody definitely does not want to see you become a single person. Alright? They want to keep you stuck. What is this uh, star card all about? You could be shining bright at work, shining bright in the world, and just shining your light, Cancer. Being you. Let's see what the star card's all about. I'm feeling insta famous here. I don't know what's going on with you, Cancer, but look, we have the Empress. This is this is like your challenge. You're getting a message that scares the crap out of you. Makes you feel stagnant and stuck. But I feel like you're going to bust through it. I, I see, like, in my mind's eye, I'm seeing, like, you know, how the Hulk goes through a brick wall type energy. That's what I'm feeling like with this cancer. Like that tower is there because you made it there. You created it. You... And, and because you're getting admired by a lot of people. I feel like you busted that wall down. You butted your chest up against it and said, is that all you got, bitch? And because you did that, you were scared. Or at least, if you haven't done that yet, you are scared. But I'm seeing you come out the other side of this in a, actually a very, very beautiful situation. We have Pisces and Scorpio energy here. I, I'm seeing you come out the other side just absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. Libra energy. Whatever that means to you. I don't know why I'm saying that. But that's what That's what's coming out. Page of Cups as the immediate future. What is that all about, Spirit? Uh-oh. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. Seven of Cups, Choices, King of Pentacles, the perfect match, Divine Timing, the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, Density. Wow. I feel like you're going to find out the truth about your other, whoever that might be. That they're addicted to something. I don't know what this is. I almost feel it. And, I, and please remember to take what resonates. This isn't for everybody. But I feel like pornography here. I feel like <coughs> maybe they're addicted to to say Pornhub 
and they pay more attention to that than they do to you and it's very disappointing but you understand that it's like an addiction it's an illusion for this person either way you know they understand that this is an illusion and possibly an addiction of some kind they just don't know how to fix it I had a husband like that so I don't know how to fix it either guys I can give you some spiritual advice that's about all I can give you because that that that's a tough one that's a real tough one not saying that's your situation just saying that that's what I'm getting from those cards being together and the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom so this is definitely like a married couple or at least they're living together cold hard truth here with that ace of ace of swords that's a yes whatever you're feeling is a yes with your significant other because it looks like somebody's playing around here we have the lovers we have a very burdened energy we have a page of pentacles a divine masculine and a two of pentacles now this person could be just one person that's putting the burden on you the whole entire burden on you or you found out they were cheating they were offering their pentacle elsewhere Okay. cold hard truth somebody needs to kind of face that and I do believe it's the person that you're dealing with um, what is this nine of wands about spirit again we got the Aquarian energy of hope you're just you're just grinding cancer your your nose is to the grindstone you're fueling it with your pain with your wounds you're fueling this with your pain and the outside influence here is is family legacy building ten of pentacles Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You've got it all, Cancer. And you're shining so bright that everybody sees you. But the outside influence here is you just got a message about this money. About something, it could even be an inheritance. You just got a message about it and, and your hope is well verified right now because as the star crossing you and the star is the outside influence, I think you have to overcome something here because of the Ten of Pentacles. It's almost like you have to give up something to get something and that's why this is here. Because you have to give up something to get something. I don't know what that is, but it has something to do with a work situation. What is the sun card about, Spirit? What is the sun card about? Everything Cancer could ever want. Leo energy. We got a little bit of everything here, though. Don't put too much into the signs. Everything that you could ever want, Cancer. 
Ten of Swords. This is over. Gossip, rumors, lies, jealousy, definitely some serious jealousy. And I see you walking away from this person even though you wanted them so much. You wanted to be with this person like it was, it was everything to you. But I see you feeling like a fool. And making a choice to walk away. To walk away from the conflict. The envy. The jealousy. The sharp words. Because you found out a secret. That's walking away. Feeling very foolish, like you're about to walk off a cliff. So here we have the Four of Pentacles again, holding on. Holding on to your money. I'm feeling like more than anything here. Not wanting to share it. And Two of Wands. The choice is yours. The choice is yours to walk away, to not share, to stay in this Ten of Swords, or to reverse it, to let it be the end of something, and not allow it to come back into your life. That is your choice. I know you have a lot of hope in this situation. But this person is not going to change. And you may end up choosing to walk away from them. I'm not saying you're going to. I'm just saying you might choose that. Strength as the final outcome. Let's see. Yeah. All goes back where it began. The world, Sagittarius energy, Two of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Back where it began. There's definitely a change taking place here. And I don't think you want to fight about it anymore, Cancer. I think you just, I think that Ten of Swords tells me you're done. You're so done with being confused, with spinning this wheel over and over and over again, not being able to see anything about what is truly the intention behind it, whether this be a relationship or a friendship. I don't know, you know. That's why I tell you to take what resonates to leave the rest. There's definitely something ending and you're walking away from it. Wow. It's over. It's almost like you can't forget what this person did. There's some secrets, family secrets. Marriage. Pathway. False person. The number eight is sticking out to me there. Could be a life path eight. Family room, family secrets, and a message. You're about to get a message from this person who is going to try to disrupt your life because they're a liar, they're a fake. There ain't nothing real about this person, not at all. 
You need to see it. Okay. Oh. Huh. I missed one. Main female. Like I said, there is something fake about this person. Something that doesn't feel quite right. Could be somebody in your family. I don't know. But it is a main female. There's something not quite right here. And you have a feeling about it already. Family secrets. I mean, yeah, there's something buried deep there. And I think you're about to find out about it, Cancer. All right, let's see what the love oracle's got to say. You know what this is, Cancer. Someone calls you and expresses love because they're letting you know that they're thinking about you. Okay, you are the phoenix rising up. You have a changed mind. You're growing. Adapt, changing, and healing. Dragonfly. From a karmic relationship. You, you're letting go of this person, but you still love them. You still love them. No matter what. You've just learned your lesson. And you're... Can't say you're not having a little bit of resentment towards this person. They broke your trust. It's time for you to go have some fun, Cancer. Go out and talk to some other people. Get yourself outside. Do some things. You're about to get a text or call from somebody who wants to flirt with you. This is a healing that is going on here. So maybe it's time for you to start getting back out there into life after this ending. You're being reborn. You're being changed from the inside out. And there is somebody who wants to talk to you. They're going to text, email, or call you. Be careful it's not that false person. Okay? Because that false person may be somebody outside your relationship trying to affect your relationship. Because there is a marriage here. There is an ending here. And a new beginning. But I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to bitch at you. I'm just going to tell you. There is a karmic relationship that's ending and it could be a friend or a family member. It doesn't have to be uh, your significant other. Hmm. I said that 2244. Anyway, please remember to take what resonates here. I love y'all and... Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.